Hey, hey everyone. You know what I've decided to do? I've decided to go through each of the Final Fantasy games and briefly describe what I think of them. The main series of Final Fantasy games. Why does everyone keep saying that there is a main series of Final Fantasy? The games are completely irrelevant to one another. There is no main series. Final Fantasy 1. I, I think it's a decent game. I think there's nothing really particularly bad about it apart from all the grinding you have to do in the original versions. There's nothing really wow about it, but it's the first in the series. Overall in the series I'd say it's one of the worst. Well, that's pretty much stated the obvious because more often than not, the first game in a series of games is going to be the worst of all of them. Except of course in the case of Devil May Cry. But it's it's decent, not much I can say really. Final Fantasy 2. I think you have to give it props for being different. I wouldn't say this game is good in the in the sense that it's fun to play. Well, when compared to the others, I just think that I think that this game needs to be like appreciated for appreciate English motherfucker, do you speak it? How it stands out as um unique. For example, each of the magics having 16 different, like up to 16 levels, and Final Fantasy 3. Well, wait, why did you just skip to Final Fantasy 3 there? I don't even know if you were finished talking about Final Fantasy 2. I would say this game is my least favorite in the series. I haven't really been ever been able to get into it. I've just not really found anything appealing about it. It's the only one I haven't completed of the main lot. Uh, actually, no, it's a lie. I haven't completed 13, but you know that's just recently come out, and I'm close to the end, so that's an exception. Yeah, it just seems really dodgy. The whole class change system, where you think like, you have to get capacity, and you have to learn to have it cheaper. Learn to how to cheaper? English, motherfucker, do you speak it? And your level up starts depend on what you use, and you constantly, and I just don't really like it all that much. And I know it's slightly different in the DS version, but I've played that and I don't really like that so much either. But I do want to complete it one day. Now Final Fantasy 4, there was a time where this was one of my favourites, but this game, it's it's good in the sense that the individual occurrences, like the bosses that you fight, they are really well done. But I think the overall RPGing aspect of it all is incredibly one of probably the weakest in the series, even weaker than thirteen, because you don't make any choices at all other than equipment. Pretty much no choices at all. You actually do. You just said you choose the equipment, so yes, you do make a choice. So people complain about thirteen being linear. <laughs> Look at four. You don't get to choose anything. Final Fantasy V my favourite one. The job system was absolutely brilliant the way that it was implemented and the way it was put together. Just the idea of learning abilities from one job and learning how to properly overlap them and stuff and the f using the freelancer job when you've mastered them and to combine them together it's just it's just a really well made game. So yeah, Final Fantasy V, that's, that is my favourite one. You were awfully vague about that. Either that or you were just playing rushing right through it. 6 is also really good. Final Fantasy 6. Uh, Final Fantasy 6, you didn't really have much customization between each of the characters, but you really did get it. Uh, it was all about choosing your characters, which I thought was a neat. It was, I loved, I really liked the split parts where you had to split them off into different teams. Gee, it sounds an awful lot like uh, something that happens towards the end of Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn to me. I, th I really like that aspect of Final Fantasy VI of choosing the different teams for all the characters. I, th I thought VI's feature, that feature of VI was really nice. Seven on Final Fantasy VII, I think... Yeah, I think it's one of the best. I think the materia system was really well done, really, really well... Implemented. Well implemented? English motherfucker, do you speak it? Yeah, I'm not gonna go over go, oh, Cloud's the best, because whatever. Do you even give a fuck by this point? Because here's a little something you could have said. 
oh, I don't think Cloud's... I'm not gonna go and say, oh, Cloud's the best, because he isn't the best. See? That would have been something that was a little more interesting than just saying, oh, I'm not gonna go like, oh, Cloud's the best, because whatever. Um, one thing that does bug me about Final Fantasy VII, though, is that so many people claim it to be overrated that that's what stops me from thinking that it is overrated. Overrated? No. Overhyped? Maybe. Because everyone thinks it is. It's kind of contradictory. But yeah, the material system, the way that you, like, combined them in the material slots, and the way that you... the way that you mastered them and, like, combined all the material into a single one and had to distribute all that, that was really good. You could get some really good combinations with that system. Final Fantasy VIII. Good game. Really good game. It would probably be one of the one of like the very top of my list if it wasn't for the stupid level scaling. The level scaling people can complain about the draw system all they want. You'd hardly ever use it. If you, if, if you know what you're doing, you hardly ever use it. But the level scaling is the worst point part of that game, I think. See, there may be some people watching this who don't know what level scaling is, so it usually helps to give a little explanation of what level scaling is. Just... Uh, it seems like the game has some really creative ideas in there. For example, an emo that can actually be in a romance. I mean, the GF abilities, uh, the refine abilities are really good. The, um, the junctioning is creative, with, regardless of whether you like it or not, but it is creative. It's definitely something new and interesting. The, you know, uh, like, call shop, uh, it's a brilliant idea. Learning abilities to make out-of-game things easier to use, out-of-battle things to use, I think it's, it's a really solid really good system, but the stupid level scaling is what ruins it. So what you mean to say is that the game is awesome, the game is great, the game is phenomenal for all these different reasons, but one tiny little negative about the game ruins it all for you? Okay, this is just me, but I've played a lot of games that have had much larger negatives than whatever level scaling is. But they were still really good games, and I have often found myself addicted.